Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So in this lab, we're going to finish the, the deployment for the foul on Azure. I mean, on the Azure um, platform. So we, if you have just, I mean, follow along with this, with this um, lab session. So I would advise you to look at these two previous videos that we've done on configuring. So the whole purpose of this is to deploy and configure an Azure firewall using the Azure portal. You could use um, the CLI or PowerShell comment to do this task too as well, but I figured that it's more complicated, so I just want to make this simple. And so again, this, this is an urban spoke model where you have the internet and everything that's coming from here. I have to go through here to the firewall, and the firewall I have to inspect to see if it's um if it's a if it's a source that allowed traffic to get to the server here. So we have pretty much done everything from here, from this article, you learn how to, so first of all, we have done, we set up the test network environment, we deployed the firewall, we created the, a default route, we configure an application rule well to access, I mean, to allow access to Google, we configure a network rule well to allow access to external DNS server, we configure a NAT pool to allow a remote desktop to test the server. And now the last thing that we got to do is to test the firewall. So we have done all these steps and there we go. Here's where we are right now. So we right there, right here. So we have to test the the, the deployment of this firewall to make sure that everything works in order in this sense. So first thing first, what we got to do is to go to the Azure portal. Um, we go to portal and um, we go to firewall. And from here, you see it says Firewall public IP, we click on there since we got to grab the public IP address of the firewall to test it. And as we did, we copy it. Now I'm using a Mac to perform this demo. So in order for you to remote in, I mean, to have remote desktop protocol on Mac, you have to download this software. So let me just go ahead and click add. PC and I will paste the public IP address of the of the firewall and here there go my username if you don't have that you will type that in so I can click add and I could double click here and then I will you just see it says that you are connecting to a remote desktop host with the IP address of 20. 231 51 251. So that's it. The certificate could be verified back to the root certificate. Your connection may not be secure. Do you want to continue? So let me hit continue so I can get the continue. Get it to continue. So there we go right now. I'm remote desktop into my Azure. I mean, into my, my server that I was setting up on the demo. So, um, see, so basically you could see here, I'm all logging in. So this is, say if I were to say um 
let's say um, MS and four thirty two. So, so there go the system. So it's my it's Microsoft Windows Server twenty nineteen data center. So. So basically, what that is is that, so the reason I'm able to log into here is that if I were to minimize this, let's say, stay tab, if I were to go to here, um, Let's say, so I'm on the power, right? So let's say if I'm here, so if you go to wool here, right? So if you look at here, it says priority is 200. And, and the wool that we created is that, let's say, so the rule that we created is the rule that we created is that so this rule that says that any source IP address that send traffic to the destination of of um to the destination of twenty that. 231.51.251. So the remote desktop and the TC, I mean TCP. So any source here that sent traffic to this. And um that sent traffic to this destination. So which is the remote desktop port here. The port destination. So, so it will be translated, meaning that the uh, forwarded to to this IP address. I mean, to this IP address. I'm sorry which is the private IP address of the virtual machine, and it remains on port 3389, which is this port here. So the virtual, so, so even though that this is my firewall address, which is the destination address right there. Even though that this is my firewall address, I can remote desktop directly to my virtual machine. To my virtual machine, pretty fascinating. Now, if you have multiple virtual machine, you, you are on a remote desktop three so different ports you just need to configure that all would you that's all you i mean you will be required so and i've really had like if i had really had like multiple machine and i wanted I want it from a remote desktop, you would most likely use like Azure Bastion host to, I mean, to, to, to remote it. So let's just go ahead and test the firewall to see if everything works accordingly. Let's just switch back here. So, okay. So let's say, let's just put this down. If we were to pull up 
I mean, Internet Explorer. And if I were to go to Google, I can type in www.google.com and, okay. Now you see, I am on Google. So from Google here, let's see if I, so I can connect to Google, right? The reason I can connect to Google is the fact that I set up on my, now, by the way, let's say if I were to connect to Microsoft. Let's say W, W, oh, let's see, to Microsoft. And, um, okay, okay, and close. So you see it says that can't connect securely to this page. So this is a sign that shows that my firewall setup is, working because we allowed Google and we did not allow any access to any other website than just Google. And the proof of that is that if I want to go back to Google here, I can connect to Google, but I can't connect to, to Microsoft. Now, what we could do is, if I were to switch back to the portal, see the portal here on rules, classic, bing, bing, bing. If I were to go to application rule and click here, So, so you see here, right? I allow, I, I allow Google access into my firewall. So I say allow Google source type is the IP address from this. So the source IP address any address on that 10, that zero, that two, that zero slash 24 subnet. So to the protocol HTTP and HTTPS and the targeted, full targeted www.google.com Add most in. Now, if I want to, I could add another rule for Microsoft. I could say allow dash Microsoft. And I can make this be IP and if I want to, I could just go ahead and copy this and paste it down here and hopefully it works. And I could copy this here. And just press it here, but you could type it in if you'd like to. And I can type in www.microsoft.com let me see, www.microsoft.com, right? 
So I can save this wool. And as soon as the firewall is updating, right, I should be able to have access into the Microsoft website when I pull up the RDP. Let's see. So it says that updating firewall. So it's updated. So let's go over there and hopefully it's already. Okay. So now we switch back into our remote desktop server 2019. So let's go ahead and just see if we could get to Microsoft now and hopefully we can. If not, then it might need to take a minute before we can access this. Let's see, close this, see again, close this. So by the way, um, let me see, www.microsoft.com. Say you are leaving the link bank, the connection if be possible for all these viewers to can see. Okay, then yes. And let's see, let's close that. So there we go. Now we can access Microsoft. And now the same. I mean, the simply one reason that we can access Microsoft is only because we have just added, let's go ahead and show you here. It's because we have just added a new application rule for Microsoft. So there we go. We just added a new Microsoft, I mean, a new rule targeted like a fully qualified domain name for Microsoft. And now there we go, we could access Microsoft. And the proof of that is if, let's say for instance, if we were to, to if we wanted to access to Google and we should not be able to access the Google because the firewall as we, I mean, Google website has not been added into our firewall. So let's see, www, not Google, I mean YouTube, youtube.com. See, action denied reason, no will march, proceeding with default action. So we can't access it. So say if we were to go over there, and let's add YouTube into our file. So let's say allow. YouTube. Right. IP address. Let's just copy this. Space it here. You could type it if you would like, but I'll just want to make this faster. Paste it. And let's type in www.youtube.com. And let's save this. Updating firewall. So as you can tell, it's still processing. It's still processing. So has it been being done yet? So that's why if we were to switch back here and try to access YouTube, perhaps we may not be able to access it yet for the simple reason that it's still updating. Let's just see if you don't want to make, let's see, so it's still processing. So you may want to give it a one or two, you know, minutes before the system, before it's updated into the system, before you could, you know, 
access whatever website that you add into, I mean, into your application rule collection in your firewall so you can get that to, to pass behind the firewall. So let's see. It looks like it's still updating, so I'm not sure. Now let me just switch back over there and let's open our server. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. So it looks like it's still processing. So let's see, let's hit enter. Sure. So it looks like it's still processing. All right, let me see. So now it looks like it's done. So it's done. So let's switch back over there. Let's open this and let's refresh. Let's go type that in and see something. W W W YouTube. Not sure. At this. YouTube.com, so there we go. We can access YouTube now. So I think this is a pretty fascinating, um, this is a pretty fascinating lab. So this is a sign that shows that our firewall is working. So again, guys, thank you so very much for following along with me let me see maybe i need to close up okay maybe i need to close this and let's see um let's see if i were to type what is a is a cpa and C E A L C P L. Let me see what we have here. Let me start the view. All right, guys. So thank you so very much. I will see you on the next lab. I appreciate you as following along. So stay tuned for another lab configuration. See you later. Bye-bye.